Hello friends and welcome to another Modern League. Uh, today we are returning to one of my favorite decks, Yawgmoth Combo, but uh, we're doing something a little bit different with it. Uh, we're actually going to be running the Ivy Oak Combo using Ivy Lane Denizen and uh, Scurry Oak. Now I found uh, previously that running one of each just really wasn't enough. Um, if the, the combo of one piece is answered one time, then that entire combo goes out the window. So we've made room for two and two, and I'd really like to find a room for a third Scurry Oak. Um, besides that, we've uh, changed the sideboard a little bit. We're running Crime Punishment out of the side. This is something that we have run previously. Uh, it's another good way to answer uh, Rhinos once they get onto the battlefield. Uh, and then it's also good against Constructs. Alright, let's uh, try this. Yeah, I want three Scurry Oaks. Wow, nice hand. Let's mulligan. So lucky today. I don't know what I did to get so lucky. Turn one Ragavan, my turn one play is uh, set in stone now. Gonna play the killer of Ragavan. The Young Wolf. Flavor text on Young Wolf says, I eat monkeys for breakfast. Don't check. All right, we got them to use a Petty Theft on a Young Wolf here. They are going to get in with a Ragavan, get the damage, get the uh, the treasure. Let's see what they peel off the top of our deck. Is it a card they can cast? It is not. All right, so we lose an Eldritch Evolution, but it's not like they can make any use out of it. So they know our draw, which is another young wolf. Kind of interested in just playing two wolves here. Keep that Ragavan back. That's what I like to see. Scared monkey. Ivy Lane Denizen. A little bit early. So if I attack in with a young wolf here, then they have an opportunity to like petty theft the other one and be able to attack in with Ragavan again or something. So I'm just going to leave the wolves back. Unfortunately, that is going to give them an opportunity to uh, start racing us. But if we can get one more land, un untapped land off the top, then we're ready to cord for Yawgmoth. Ignoble Hierarch doesn't get us Yawgmoth this turn. We could just Ivy Lane this turn. Kind of bad against Counterspell. I think I would rather actually just cast another Ignoble.
don't really want a court of calling for three. I think we'll just attack with a young wolf here. Oh yeah, that's interesting. Could have done that if we uh, had not attacked. But at this point, we don't have enough mana for Court of Calling for Scurry. And yeah, I'm just really interested in Court of Calling for Yawgmoth. Um, the Scurry, the Ivy... Ivy Oak combo doesn't feel too good against a deck that's running uh, Lightning Bolts and Unholy Heats. Probably going to trim this combo. This is a, a matchup where Undying Creatures are definitely going to shine. If they try and kill them and they just come back... The removal spells aren't very good against anything except for Yawgmoth. And if they throw a removal spell at Yawgmoth, that's when we start the combo. Mm, unfortunate. Alright, we got another shot here at Yawgmoth. If we get uh, an untapped land, get a Geist instead. Interesting. Well, so far we're still winning this race. Yeah, fine by me. Uh, that is what I'm considering right now. If I should just go get another Geist instead of trying to wait for Yawgmoth. So Unholy Heat enters the Exile Zone. They get rid of my Ignoble Hierarch with said Heat. But they're doing three. We're doing four. Uh, we still need to win this race. Let's see what we draw off the top. It takes us three hits to win. It takes them three hits to win. But we get to hit first. Of course, this is bad if they have monkey.
There it is. They get to attack for five this time and peel a card off the top. With two treasures, they could even cast it. Okay, they just reveal a land. Oh, Blooming Marsh. I didn't want that one anyway. Oh, they're going to win this race. Bring an endurance. Don't like the scurry oak, the uh, the ivy oak combo in this matchup. Bring in punishment as a way to get rid of one of their one drops. Hey there, the Mixlash. I would be the latter. So at any time, you can have up to 400 ticks rented. And as soon as you return those 400 ticks of cards, you can get 400 ticks of different cards. Hey, no problem. Happy to help. <laughs> hey, when you're playing magic, you don't have money for drugs. Oh, wow. Engineered explosives on one, huh? I guess we'll Eldritch Evolution this ignoble hierarch away then. Since the explosives will get rid of it anyway. There is a question of what we get with it. Hold on. I should attack first. Get that uh, exalted trigger. Um... Probably go get Grist. Uh, people have been enjoying games for a very, very long time. I'm sure people said something similar about... Uh, you know, chess pieces or ghost stones or what have you.
So it's in between Grist and Groff's Messenger, but Grist can potentially block a monkey. I like the Grist here. Could have also went for Wall of Roots. Wall of Roots, I think, would have been another good choice. Especially with the Court of Calling and Hound. Now, what can I say? I like uh, cardboard. Ooh, Blood Moon. Well, that is a problem, friends. No basics. No manas. We just uh, have a grist and a dream. Funny thing is, we can actually grist and go get a three drop currently. So we could, um, Court of Calling, go get Grolf's Messenger. Uh, where is it? Yeah, Outland Liberator's in the board. We don't have Reclamation or Knight of Autumn in this list. Yep. Nice Darcy with that engineered explosive sitting there. Got three creatures in the yard currently. I think we're probably going to want to get rid of that uh, Darcy pretty much immediately. See how the attack goes. They might, they'll probably actually like block the young wolf so the engineered explosives will get some value and then they can try and uh, make a Merc Tide. So we're going to want to try and keep Grist healthy for that, I think. Oh man, are they going to Merc Tide this turn? Didn't you already see that card? Why wouldn't you wait one more turn? Nice. Alright, let's see if they block anything. Just six damage coming in so far. Three of a kind! Going for a full house. Alright, they're going to Unholy Heat the Grolf's Messenger. So they don't have Creature in the yard yet. They'll just take three here. And then I think we kill the Darcy anyway. And then we'll still have, hopefully, a Gris to kill a Murktide. They're going to draw three cards on their turn. Because of the Mistress Baubles. I'm wondering if it's even worth, uh, yeah, if we don't kill this thing, it's going to be attacking Grist.
relic. That'll get rid of the young wolf permanently when they activate the explosives. Interesting that they use the blue mana for the Relic of Regenitus. I would have thought they would want to keep the double blue for a Merktide. <laughs> oh yeah, the relic. <laughs> uh, uh, oh, oh, oh! Thank you, thank you for that, Keck W. We we all make mistakes. Yeah, there's no timing for that. Put him to three. My Dryad Mountain. Okay. Managed to get a win on that one, despite the Blood Moon. I think Blood Moon was keeping them off red as bad as it was keeping us off green and black. Well, I'm going to want to bring in an Outland Liberator. After seeing that. Get rid of another Evolution. I'm not a huge fan of Evolution versus a deck that plays Counterspell. I guess we could technically bring in Thrun. Good against Counterspell, good against Unholy Heat. Ugh, I hate this hand. This one's fine. Just need some lands. Gonna go get a basic forest with Verdant Catacombs. I would love to play Hierarch here, but what if they play Monkey on their turn? I think we should actually just play Young Wolf. So we can eat a Monkey. Just want to draw land land here. Oh, should have been more specific. Considers pretty good with uh, Double Darcy. Going to be able to put a lot of cards into the graveyard here. 
Well, two cards. So they got instant and land. Still need sorcery, artifact, or creature to hit uh, four types and get these uh, Dragon Rage Channelers really chugging in for damage. Land, land with the two surveils and consider. Finds another land. Wow. So they still just have two types even after all that surveilling. They have eight cards in the graveyard and two types. Lucky us. Another Yogg. Should have just attacked with Stranger Root Geist. No reason to cast the Ignoble Hierarch uh, before combat this way. Like, I uh, guess there's a reason I 0 3 the last league. Let's play Dryad Arbor Pass. What are they going to kill here? They're going to kill the Dryad Arbor. Wow. They just leave the card on top again. Well, it's got to be good, whatever it is. Interesting that they killed the Dryad Arbor over the Ignoble Hierarch. Uh, probably because they want to play a monkey this turn. They've probably been holding this Ragavan for so long. Ah, the fool finally attacked with the Young Wolf. Now he can bring in the monkey. No, it's a Murktide. Even worse! Well, they only have one mana here, so it looks like we should be able to kill the Murktide with Grist. We'll sacrifice the Strangoruk Ice to just leave the Young Wolf back, attack for four. This does give them Creature in the Graveyard, though. And if they have Unholy Heat or Lightning Bolt, they can kill the Geist. Just get it off the board. They can also kill the Grist. All they need is a artifact or a sorcery. <laughs> I'll do my best, Shauna. Yeah, I hear Amulet Titan did very well in Vegas. Now they're taking a lot of time with every phase here, but it looks like I'm getting the damage in. Cultivator Colossus. That's fun.
All right, are you trading a Darcy for the Grist? Looks like the answer to that question is yes. I will absolutely kill one of your Darcy's if you let me. Let's go to blocks. Oh, dress down. Neat. So I guess that gets rid of Undying. And it's just a, a trade of our one mana creatures here. Oh no, do you have a Murktide to back this up? Looks like Murktide to me. It's going to be a small Murktide though. Only a 4-4. Four, four. Oh, okay. They're going to hold up Counterspell instead. This does get them... Um, Darcy. Well, here's a spider that blocks Darcy. And I guess we'll attack for four. They're down to three. Close game. Oh, Murktide is still only a 4-4. So Strangle Root attacks into Murktide and trades with it currently. They'll probably have uh, some kind of answer coming up, though. Two cards left in hand. What's it going to be, opponent? Looks like a pass. Can we draw land here? Untap land. Let's go, Mana Source. I'd like to make a Yogmoth. Ah, <laughs> oh, this deck is such a troll. Gives me the one land that I can't use to cast Yawgmoth this turn. Thought they might have a counter spell.
Engineered Explosives on 2, which gets rid of Strangaroo Geist. It's pretty good. Obelisk Spider still attacks in pretty well, though. Attacks in as a 2-5, shrinks your Murktide. Plus, I have Yawgmoth coming down right now. So they're going to have to immediately uh, use the explosives before Yawgmoth hits the battlefield. Which leaves them only a polluted delta. Oh, that was for one? I thought it was for two. Ah, oh, the Dryad Arbor's already gone. All right. Um, guess we can attack with spider yeah they they paid two mana for it but they i guess they paid the same color mana yeah yeah that's exactly what i think happened eyes so this i really wanted this to be a creature but dryad arbor's already gone so If we attack with Geist, like, their block is just obvious. Um, we could sacrifice the Geist and attack with Obelisk Spider. I call that a whoopsie poopsie. We've had a couple of those today on both sides. If I sack the Spider, put a token on that, that's just bad. I could sack the Spider, put a token on Strangaroot Geist, start drawing cards. I don't really like that either. I think I'm actually just going to pass the turn. And we can respond with Yawgmoth to whatever they're doing. Spider does what again? Um, every time a minus one, minus one counter is put onto a creature, opponent loses a life, we gain a life. So if we can get one more creature down, Spider basically just wins us the game. Alright, so opponent is uh, Hellbent here. Yeah. Yeah, that's solid. Oh. Our draws. Our draws are so garbage. Okay. That doesn't really do anything. So they have to attack this turn with Darcy. We block Darcy with a spider. That puts them to two.
Is this another Murktide? Which grows this Murktide? Kind of scary. I don't think we die this turn from their damage, though. Okay, now their Darcy doesn't have to attack. So we take six, go to five. They have one card in hand. I think that's fine. Hey, what's going on? The last god. See anything you like? Come on, critter. Give me a critter. That sucks. Why are we drawing so terribly? Yeah, wishing I had any creature at all. But I think the proliferate might actually get us there. We have one proliferate. Yeah, I think we have it anyway. Hold on a second. We can't actually proliferate because the counters are going to cancel out. So the opponent's not going to have a minus one, minus one counter on the Murktide region for us to proliferate. Ugh. So punishment for one kills the Darcy. Then we just attack all. Could put the tokens on the spider. Yep. So we could put the token on the spider, proliferate once, we could punishment for one and then attack with everything. And I think that wins. The problem is we don't have proliferate anymore if we do that. Ooh, I think that was the wrong one to target with Lightning Bolt.
Looks like we're still dead, though. Good game. We're on the play. I think I keep this on the play. It's not too exciting. You know, we don't have anything to do turn one, but... Uh... On turn four, we can potentially attack for lethal. Uh-oh. It's burn. Uh, the, the Dryad was already in the graveyard. Obelisk Spider. Do we even want that? Don't think so. Right on time. Scurry Oak, pretty scary against uh, Burn here, where they just have so many ways to one for one kill the Oak. Wow. Getting aggressive with creatures. Gives me a Verdant Catacombs. And what was the other revealed card? Obelisk Spider again? So we have one, two, three, four, five mana, and all three drops. Next turn we can play Scurry Oak and then evolve something into, uh, well I guess we'll evolve the Wall of Roots. We'll have a million squirrels, hopefully, depending on if the opponent taps out. Searing Blaze kills the Scurry Oak. Putting us to a very precarious life total. But they do tap out. Are we just dead, though? Going to four? They have two cards in hand. Right, let the first one resolve. Court of Calling. Ignoble Hierarch. Okay. Block here. Two, three, four, five, six. Problem is, we don't win this turn. We have a million blockers, but we don't win the game. And all they need is any burn spell. Yeah, it seems that way, huh? Uh, 
uh, the Court of Calling could have been really good if we had um, had a certain card still on our deck, if we still had the Innkeeper. Bring in this and this uh, as ways to gain a little bit of life. Don't think we really need the grist. Yeah, yeah, well, it, it's all about the synergy for some decks. Get rid of the Hapatra. Bring in Liberator. Could bring in uh, Punishment. They got a lot of one-drop creatures. Oh, this hand is so slow. We have the Bayloth, but we'll probably be dead by the time we deploy it. There's actually nothing we can cast in this hand. One land hand, one small. Keepable. Zelda Fifth. Thanks for the follow, friend. Yeah, gate gatekeeper seems really cool. Do you think that there's room for both? Fair. Yeah, you can't have too many two drops and burn. Got to be able to play out that hand at lightning speed, which means prioritizing one drops. I like the tap out here. Well, we got the combo. Can we get the win? Losing life doesn't really seem like a great proposition. Yeah, we're just taking six from these Rift Bolts. 
I don't think there was any way we could just win last turn, was there? I guess we could draw to cord. Oh, we should have tried to draw to cord. No, because we're not playing the um the cutthroat. We're playing the spider. So we could have passed. All right. Uh, so let's see here. We can make a mana with that. We got a couple draws to find cord calling. I think literally two. Yeah, couldn't find room for both with the uh, Scurry Oak passage package. Find a young wolf. One more go. Quarter calling off the top. All right. Seachrome Coast with Yorian. Silvergill Adept. Revealing Thieving Skydiver. What? What's going on? Huh. Opponent concedes. What? What's going on? I don't understand. They just conceded the match? What? I'm kind of short on lands. If I keep this and they kill the Hierarch, this hand seems so bad. I got a mulligan this. Oh, this hand is so much worse. I'm pretty sure there are good hands that exist. I kind of wanted to see more of that merfolk list, honestly. Yorian merfolk? Wonder what they get out of the white. I mean, obviously you get prismatic ending, and I think there do exist uh, merfolk uh, with a little bit of white. Oh, this is at least keepable. It's not good, but we can do something with it. All right, I want to keep the wolf, the geist, and the grist, and two lands. Maybe I'm supposed to keep the cord of calling instead of the grist. Court of Calling actually gets us towards our combo, don't you know? Misty Rainforest Pass. Let's get in for some damage. Show us a triome, but it's teamer. And a sacred foundry. 
And Ren and Six, no surprise there. Get a Wall of Roots, all right. So we can put the Ren and Six down to one. And we should have a good chord next turn. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, we can actually cord for Yawgmoth if we keep all of our creatures. If they run in six, tick down, kill a Noble Hierarch, that's fine. I like the tap out. Dryad of Elysian Grove. They've already played a land. So it looks like go get Yogmoth. Oh yeah, they can play an extra land because of this jerk. Grolf's Messenger. I wish you were already on the board. Already a sack. We're gonna draw some cards. We're also gonna kill their dryad. Uh, target sack. So if we can resolve Obelisk Spider, that's the combo. And I got rid of everything on the board here. So they just have whatever they have in their hand. Starting with Expressive Iteration, a very good card, but that's taking two points of mana here. So they only got uh, potentially three mana left for this turn. Oh, how much are we attacking for? Quite a bit. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Alright, well they're tapped out here. We're just going to cast Obelisk Spider. Should be GG. And I'm going to keep black black so I can potentially proliferate. Target, Geist, Sacrifice, Wall of Roots. Always yield to that. Uh, target, Young Wolf, Sacrifice, Stranger Root, Geist. And opponent scoops them up. Got the combo. All right, so opponent is doing some sort of big color value plan. 
like uh, four or five color control, I think. Honestly, I'm not even really sure. Bring to light, Valakut. Yeah, yeah, Bring to Light makes a lot of sense. With Escape Shift. Okay. So you could bring in Necromentia. Kind of feels like they've got a lot of things to hit. Because like if we hit Escape Shift, they can still just um, bring to light into... Uh, Stupid Planeswalker, Valky. And then if we hit Bring to Light, they can just naturally draw the Scape Shift. Might still be better, though. Name Volokut? I mean, I think, yeah, we could name Volokut, but they could still bring to light into uh, whatever the other side of Valky is called. I think his name begins with a T? We used to laugh at him all the time. He was uh, Tybalt. He was a joke. And then he got reprinted. And then he made an entire format a joke. Yeah, I can keep this. Oriel Grazer. Great one drop. But they're down to three cards in hand now. Ooh, draw Yogmoth. Let's go. So next turn we can play Wall of Roots Geist, and then we can play Yog Moth, and then we can play Gross Messenger. Turn four win. Oh, they got the red and six to kill the bird. Brutal. There goes our ramp. Oh, ignoble hierarch. I guess we'll play that into the red and six. Keep them from uh, returning that fetch land for another turn. Because their card, uh, it, their, the resources in hand are very low. That's a good way to get some more resources. Reveal Volokut. Okay, so we're not getting rid of Volokut. Kind of blooming marsh. I have four mana. Yogmoth seems like our best play here. And then maybe next turn we can just play both of these.
Of course, they could just bring to light this turn. I don't think there's anything we could have done to stop that, though. All right, here's a Dryad. So if we get untapped uh, mana source, if we, can get, if we can get a land here that's going to give us mana, we should be able to just go Messenger Geist. Oh no! Valakut's ready to go and they have fetch lands. Damn! That was fast. Dryad and Valakut, what a team. And now they can kill the Wall of Roots. And they leave us with nothing this time. Our resources are strained. Good mulligan opponent. Ah, uh, our, our land would not have been good enough. Um, so yeah, they just got Renin 6 and fetch lands with Dryad and Volokut. We're dead. All right, let's see if we can win one match legitimately. Come on. Kind of awkward. Gonna have to lose a lot of life for our mana. You think we go Geist here or Grist? I think I'm going to go with Grist. Get that Planeswalker down, turn two, start getting some value. We mill the Dryad Arbor, so we're not going to have access to that later if we want it. Press of iteration. Turn to iteration where they can exile a land is pretty sweet. Oh wow, untapped as well. I'm going to end my hierarch. Yep. Oh, there's Yogg. No real point in attacking here. They have a pretty easy block. I guess we could have minus Gris, kill the Grazer, and start attacking with a 3-2 Geist, but that seems uh, a little bit aggressive. I mean, it would have put them to 10, and then we'd be attacking for... I mean, it would have actually put them to 9, and we'd be attacking for large numbers turn after turn. Yeah, yeah. That is true. Those Grazers getting him so much mana. 
Yog Moth not looking too good when it's just stuck in hand like this. Uh, let's see, hopefully that uh, one point of missed damage won't be the, uh, the difference between winning or losing, but in a game like Magic, uh, inches matter, so we definitely should have got in for that one point of damage last turn. They should be at uh, 10 here instead of 11. Did I not activate my Grist? Oh, today's not my day. Yeah. Yeah, everyone makes mistakes. I, I try to play cleanly. I try to play well every once in a while. I'm not the best. Uh, more than once in a while, but I do try. No. Oh. Retap your lands. There you go. Bring to light for four. Go get the Valky, which turns into Tybalt. They can exile a creature. Oh, and they can bring that back for themselves? That's terrifying. Oh, well. It's nothing to say. It's just nothing to say there. I don't want to sacrifice my peatland to draw a card. What if I draw another Ivy Lane Denizen or another Yawgmoth? Then I'll be even further away from casting my four drops. Alright, so they should be at eight. Pass turn, I guess. There's a Dryad, there's Volokut, Volokut kills Grist. Fortunately, they don't have a fetch land, so last trance to draw an untapped mana. Urborg does it. Finally play Yawgmoth. Target, sack. Can 
<laughs> Another four drop. Thanks. Uh, target sack. Oh, uh, they have endurance, which gets rid of my Strangaroo Geist forever. Not going to have enough creatures to be able to kill that Dryad. They're going to be able to keep it. Now they have no cards in hand. Had to exile a Bring to Light in order to get that Endurance to go. So let's see what they drew here. They have a lot of good cards. Something that they don't want to cast. Um, Take the damage? No, no, we block and put a minus one, minus one counter on that. Looks good. Phew. Okay. So opponent made a little punt, and that might allow us to get back into the game here. Nice draw. All right, so let me just think here. Uh, Dryad Arbor looks like it's still in the deck, but that's not uh, what we need if we want to proliferate. We can um, we can sacrifice the Wall of Roots, put a counter on Grazer, and then proliferate, and then we have three, six, seven points of damage, which is not lethal. So yeah, I don't think it's worth doing it that way then. I think I would rather have access to the Vernon Catacombs to be able to go get Dryad Arbor if I want it. It still makes Black Manic as a Verborg. They can play this card, right? Playing Obelisk Spider would actually be pretty good for them. It would mean I wouldn't be able to activate the Yawgmoth. I mean, I could, but doing so would uh, actually drain me for two and give them a life. Alright, looks like they decided on a play. Looks like another Bring to Light.
Supreme Verdict. All right, so we can reset the Geist, draw some cards. Put a token on Geist, Sacrifice, Insect. Get Court of Calling. Cool. We had drawn one more card. All right, uh, make a mana. Target nothing. Sacrifice Strangaroo Geist. Get Forest. So we have one, two, three, four, five. We could go get another Strangaroo Geist. And then we'll reset this guy, so we'll have a pair of three threes attacking in. Okay. Whew. Well, that was uh, <laughs> that was a clumsy match of magic. Another one land hand uh, on the draw. Not very interested in this. If they have any kind of removal for ignorable hierarch, get back half your play points. We're going two three. Seems great against Titan. We don't know they're playing Titan, though. Like, they were seen playing Titan 21 days ago. They could be on anything now. Ugh. All lands, almost. I believe that our creature would have died. Oh no. Playing against Living End. Oh, that's a problem. Oh no, quit giving me lands. It's too many. Oh my. They're putting that into play untapped. Oh, okay, yeah, they're just going to uh, activate Waker of Waves, put a bunch more creatures into the graveyard. And get ready to do their combo next turn. So we got some uh, okay cards in the sideboard here. We got Necromancia and Thoughtseize and uh, Endurance. All right, not comboing this turn. They got to find that uh, third land before they can combo. Oh, there it is. They found it. So they should be ready to combo next turn. I think I'm just going to play the young wolf here because, you know, like it comes back when they uh, do their combo. Although their creatures are uh, very scary. Hey, what's up, PT Bench? Thanks for the raid. How did your league go? What were you playing? If you're just coming in, we're uh, playing some Yawgmoth combo here. Uh, really struggling against variants, but I mean that's part of the game, friends. Ooh, five zero with Obosh Chandra dressed to kill. No kidding, that's awesome. Yeah, I've seen that people have been working on uh, the red dressed to kill decks. That's pretty cool. I'll have to give that list a try next week. Hey, thanks for the luck. Wow, they take the damage. Did not expect that. 
Jenbu, cheers. This is why I didn't play Wall of Roots of Scurry Oak there. I figured they would just die. As is, like, this is just a ton of damage. So if we block this, we're still taking uh, 10, 16, 20. So we're just dead. Uh, I'm going to concede here before they see Scurry Oak with the Grief. Alright, so we bring in Thoughtseize, Necromentia, uh, Endurance, and Scavenging Ooze. Take this out. Don't have time for Ivy Oak combo. Uh, Gris doesn't seem all that hot here. Hypatra's okay. So we got one more card to take out. Well, we got the Endurance and uh, turn one Hierarch. I think we keep this. Ooh, Leyline of Sanctity says uh, I can't target them. One target player. Wow. Uh, let's see here. I'm going to need to read Obelisk Spider. Each opponent, okay. All right, well, we'll get in for one. That Ley Line of Sanctity really puts a damper on things here. A lot of the cards that we brought in, this just blanks them. Would have been really good, except... All right, so what can we do? We can go get Scavenging Ooze. Wicker of Waves, great. I take most of that out of the graveyard. Uh, take Wicker of Waves. And Wall of Roots will have another mana ready uh, on their turn. So before they're able to Living End. Um, we have a green mana to get rid of the Curator of Mysteries. And if they don't do it right now, then we can get rid of both. 
All right, so they do it now. We are going to lose our board, but they don't get too much out of this. Still pretty good for them. Um, they they wipe out our board, they get to stack our deck, and our hand isn't doing anything. But this could have been way worse. Foundation Breaker. Choose not to destroy. Oh, maybe they do if they want to do like another living end. No, there's no way. I've got a bunch of stuff in my graveyard. Do they attack? Probably, right? Might as well. Chump here, get a wolf that's big enough to uh, trade with an agent. Well, we play the Dryad Arbor, but we don't have enough mana to cast Endurance yet. Endurance will be a nice way to uh, trade with their creatures. It's just bigger than what they have on the board. But as they get more and more lands here, they're just going to be able to start casting their massive threats. And then if I Endurance, um, I have to target myself up to one target player. Okay, so I don't have to target myself. That's good. Yeah, they can, six mana, they can start casting a lot of scary stuff. Aww. So they're going to use their Endurance to wipe our graveyard after I didn't use my Endurance to do it. And this way, when they do cast their second Living End, uh, it's really good instead of really bad. Yeah, I think that we're dead. That Ley Line of Sanctity was so good for the opponent. Blank the Necromentia, blank the Endurance, uh, the Thoughtseize that we brought in as well. Good games. Alright, unfortunately, didn't do too well with that one. But um, I wanted to do a bit of uh, experimentation with Yogmoth with the Scurry Oak combo, or sorry, the Ivy Oak combo. Really did not perform.